a thing that I've been waiting for for a couple of weeks finally came in today and it is, well, it's back to Minidisc on this Thursday. And that thing is, well, first let me explain why I needed it. One of my favorite players or recorders is the Iowa AM F5. It is a beautiful design that has an integrated battery that slots in just behind here. But that battery is no longer in circulation and the batteries that you find when you buy one of these used no longer work. Or if they do work, you are extremely lucky. What came in is essentially a 3D printed shunt that would allow a, a modern 3.7 volts, I think it's 350 mAh uh, rechargeable lithium battery to work inside of it. Now, this video is completely naked. I've not tested this thing at least with the batteries, because I just got some brand new batteries in as well. Um, they are from Trustfire. These are they. It's a 10440 battery. Um, I'm not sure what typically they're used in. I've got, actually, I ordered four of them. So there's two in the charger over there. We'll check those out in just a moment and see if they work. The shunt is this beautiful thing here. It's printed designed, made in Thailand. It's kind of absurd that I spent 16 bucks for this thing, but if it works, <laughs> again, this video is naked, so we will see live if it works or not. But if it works, that will put back into circulation not only the Iowa AMF5, but also some of my other favorite Iowa players and recorders, or sorry, recorders mainly, like the AMF80 uh, and 75, 72, 70, that beautiful N65. They've got backlit buttons. They've got backlit screens. Of course, the remote is backlit. They're generally made really well. The sound is... The idea now is to head over the charger, see if the battery's ready, pop it into here, pop that into here, and see if we can get everything working. And if it worked, firstly, to thank the gentleman that sell, sold me all this stuff, and then to just thank our lucky stars that such technology works and is easily available for us people who are holding out in the media disc world. By the way, the disc that's in here happens to be, looks like the J-pop disc from a couple of videos ago. I don't know where my This Is Trance disc is, and that's my fault. But we'll listen to a little bit of J-pop if this works. If it doesn't, well, maybe I'll have to send a couple of emails. Okay, let's grab this bad boy and head over. All right, here it is. This is our me boxer or whatever it's called and inside the two batteries that i just picked up i picked up a four total and it looks like one is charged to 96 percent and the other 92. we will choose the 90 oh it's now seven we'll choose 97. trust fire here's the adapter and the battery that we just picked up is right here. We're gonna pop them into place like that. And we're gonna pray. I've recently refound my religion, so. Yes, I'm praying to a non materialistic God that my material will work. Check that out. Check that out, it is working. Mm. Better get some headphones. All right, here we go. Here we go. I can't remember how to use it. Oh, so much hiss on this thing. Wait. There may be a problem with the player here. It's definitely playing, but I'm not getting any sound out of this thing. Well, we know this. The battery appears to be working. The player, the recorder, sorry, is now playing the music back. For some reason, the output is not outputting any sound. Three hours later. The disc I had in the unit, all the titles displayed, the talk was reading properly. When it was playing back, unfortunately, it was not getting any sound somehow from the disc to the AD, for, to the DAC and then to the headphone amplifier. I checked in another mini player. It wasn't working that either, so. Currently I have a different disc in there, and as you can tell from the meters, it's playing back music, at least internally, whereas prior, you may have noticed that the meters were essentially silent. So we're gonna plug in the headphones and just see that our AMF5 is working like it should. 
Yeah, the sound is coming through nice. Currently, what I have playing is Red Jerry's Euphoric Mix. I don't have the exact title because when I copied this disc, I didn't do CDRW with all the text to the MD. I just did basically my regular CD that I purchased from Amazon and it doesn't have any text on it. And so when it transferred, all it was was just a blank disc with the music on it. It's playing back and it sounds phenomenal. The Iowa sound, of course, is generally freaking amazing, except, like I said, for the hiss. AMF5 doesn't have the best headphone amplifier, but it's powerful enough. It's certainly nothing like the old Sharp MS100 or something like that, but it's more powerful than a lot of modern Sonys and some Sharps from the same generation. If you are looking for an Iowa recorder and you don't want to hear hiss through your favorite portable headphones and earphones, definitely skip the F5 and go to something like F65 or F70 or F72, F75. That generation hisses less. The F80, now it's been a long time since so I've used them. I may pick one up. If I do, I'll report on that. Um, I don't remember how much it hissed. And when I listened to it, I wasn't listening to high-end earphones um, that, that weren't hissing a lot anyway. So I'll just leave off this Thursday thing with this. The battery shunt from the Thai manufacturer works really well as do the batteries I got. I will try to get his permission. If I do, then I'll publish his email or his Facebook address. So that if you're interested in getting this battery shunt made for $16 and just a handful of change for shipping, you can get one. They're really worth it. I'm thinking of picking up four or five more actually, <laughs> because I've got a bunch of different Iowas that I'm either interested in purchasing at the moment or which I'm borrowing. And it would be nice actually to perhaps even get them on the market with uh, some used players that I have. That's it for this Thursday thing. I will see you next week. Cheers.